Welcome to Unfold Data Science friends. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist. In this particular video, I am going to talk to you about one aspect of recommendation engine known as association analysis. So association analysis is very simple, easy to understand and sometimes very useful. So let's try understanding what is this and how it works. Okay. So association analysis is typically work for retail scenario. So in retail transactions, we will have you know details of the transactions or items in the transaction for example i call transaction one transaction one is you know one set of item that one customer buys from a shop or from a superstore so transaction one will have item one plus item two plus item three similarly other customer may go to the shop or superstore or online store and may buy item 1 plus item 4 plus item 6 so this is basket 1 okay and this is basket 2 similarly there can be multiple baskets so this association analysis is also known as market basket analysis how this works is it works on the assumption that if two items or more than two items are frequently bought together then these items can be recommended to the user who is buying one of these items for example if i2 plus i3 is common in few transactions or let's say more transactions if some customer purchases i2 then i3 can be recommended to that customer here in this analysis the attributes of the product is not taken into consideration so no consideration of the product attributes just to give some example, some real world example, let's say we go and fetch all the transactions of the nearby superstore. So transactions will look like this, bread plus milk plus egg. This is transaction by person one. Okay. Person two also goes to the same superstore and they buy, he or she buys bread plus milk plus let's say oats third person also goes bread plus milk plus let's say any other milk product or meat okay so from these three different transactions by different people what we can see is whenever somebody buys bread then they also buy milk so this is one association similarly there can be multiple associations how are these uh, these associations filters is based on multiple transactions okay so there are three things which are very important in association analysis to understand so to make you understand what are those three things let me draw a transaction table here okay so let us say these are transactions these are five transactions okay in this transactions there are different items let's say item one item two and item three okay so in transaction one let's say all the items are present so i'm denoting it as one in transaction two let's say item two is not present in transaction three let's say it looks like this transaction four looks like this and transaction five looks like this just some one zero i have put one means exists two means zero means doesn't exist so here in transaction number one all the items are there whereas in transaction number two or other transactions one item or more items are not there so there are three terms defined for association analysis number one is number one term for association analysis is known as support okay so what is support is if i have to say what is this support for item a for example if this is our item a or item first item what is the support for item a meaning how many total transactions we have and how many of these transactions have item a so we have five transactions out of these one two and three three transactions have item a hence support for item a become three by five this is one important metric for association analysis what is the second metric second metric is known as confidence and confidence always comes with 
two or more atoms together for example here if i say what is the confidence of i1 given i2 what is the confidence of item i1 given i2 means if somebody buys item a1 what is the confidence that the person will buy item i2 as well so what is the total transaction of i1 three transactions so that goes in denominator what is the combination of i1 plus i2 here one combination and here also one combination so 2 by 3 so 2 by 3 is the combination or confidence that item 1 and item 2 goes together this number is known as confidence the third important metric for association analysis is known as lift so what is lift what is lift for you know item a and b together we can just put it confidence of a and b given by support of b confidence of a and b divided by support of b so this formula tells you what is the lift for item b using these three metric using these three metric we derive at certain rules in association analysis okay so how those rules will look like is those rules will be like you know i1 implies i2 which means if you know in a transaction i1 is there then the confidence support and lift for i2 for also being there will be we will have three numbers here confidence support and list and this becomes a rule rule 1 similarly there can be a rule 2 rule 2 will say item 1 item 2 implies item 3 and this also will have confidence support and list similarly there can be multiple rules okay and based on our needs based on what is that we want to recommend suppose there is a purchase in which somebody is going to buy i1 so can we recommend i2 or if there is there are any other rules where confidence support and lift are better than i1 plus i2 where confidence support and lift says you know what recommend i3 because i3 c s and l are better than i2 then we go ahead and recommend i3 so we have an extensive list of rules from where we filter based on these three metric and then we make the recommendations all these things happen in python or r both the tools using an algorithm called a priori algorithm okay so what a priori algorithm does is it takes all the transactions into consideration and gives us the rules like the way we discussed okay but there is only one downside of this algorithm this algorithm is very very computationally expensive so as you have observed now lot of transactions goes as input to this algorithm and every time you you know want to train a model you have to run through all the transactions so the space complexity and time complexity is one downside of this algorithm but this algorithm is you know usually works kind of okay for retail environment and it can be used in my next video i'll show you how to implement a priori algorithm and association analysis with some data in retail scenario if you have any questions any doubts just drop a comment to me i'll see you all in the next video take care